the topic we'll discuss today is pharmaceutical packaging basically pharmaceutical packaging can be defined as the economical means of providing presentation protection identification information containment convenience compliance which maintain integrity and stability of the product the selection of a package therefore begins with the determination of the product's physical and chemical characteristics its protective needs and its marketing requirements the fundamental functions of packaging according to fda are to provide protection thereby not to allow leak diffusion and permeation of the product to be strong enough to hold the content during normal handling and storage not to be altered by the ingredients of the formulation in its final form the material selected must have following characteristic they must protect the preparation from environmental condition they must not be reactive with the product they must not impart to the product taste or odor they must be non toxic they must be us fda approved they must meet applicable tamper resistance requirement they must be adaptable to common employed highly sweet packaging equipments types of containers basically the containers are divided into following type on the basis of their utility first is we'll discuss a well closed container what basically well closed container is the containers protects the contents from loss during transportation handling storage or so or sale this can be seen here second is single dose containers these containers are used to supply only one of the medicaments and hold generally parenteral products example ampoule and vials this can be seen in the pictures here next is multiple dose containers these containers allow the withdrawal of dose at various intervals without changing the strength quality or purity of remaining portion those containers hold more than one dose and are used for injectables example vials this can be seen in the pictures here light resistant containers light resistant containers protect the medicaments from harmful effects of light these containers are used to store those medicaments which are photosensitive air tight containers these are also called as hermetic containers these containers have air tight sealing or closing these container protect the product from dust moisture and air whereas air tight sealed containers are used for injectables air tight closed containers are meant for the storage of other products basically hermetic containers are impervious to air or any other gases under the ordinary conditions of handling shipment storage and distribution aerosol containers these containers can be seen here in the figures these containers are used to hold aerosol products these containers have a adequate mechanical strength in order to bear the pressure of aerosol packaging child resistant packaging child resistant containers work in one of the two principles certain degree of strength will be needed to open the product high degree of manual coordination is required another is tamper resistant packaging tamper resistant can be conferred on the pack by using a roll on closure which has a perforated collar which grips on the lip of the bottleneck and these perforation must be broken before the caps can be unscrewed types of packaging primary packaging primary package is a material which envelops the product and holds it this usually is the smallest unit of distribution and use and is the package which is in direct contact with the content glass bottles plastic bottle ointment tubes pouch vials ampoules etc this can be seen from the figures here next secondary packaging is outside the primary packaging perhaps used to group primary packaging together cartons injection trays etc this can be seen in the figure here next tertiary packaging is used for bulk handling where warehouse storage and transport shipping the most common form of palletized unit load that packs tightly into the containers this can be seen here qualities of good container the containers must be neutral towards the material which is stored in it the container must not 
interact physically or chemically with the substance which it holds it should help in maintain the stability of the product against the environmental factors which causes it deterioration it should be made of materials which have which can withstand wear and tear during normal handling it should be able to withstand changes in pressure and temperature the material used for making of container must be non toxic material used for making containers glass example is bottle vials ampoule syringes ip containers aerosol containers this can be seen in the here in pictures next is plastics example is plastic pouches tubes tapes aerosol container laminates etc this can be seen here in the pictures next is rubber rubber is used to prepare closure caps wire wrappers plunger this can be seen in the figures here metals metals are used to prepare collapsible tubes foils needles aerosol containers this can be seen in the figure here paper or card box example of secondary packaging used to prepare labels inserts pouches laminates cartons corrugated box foils paper and drums this can be seen